If you have faith, <laughs> good things will come to you. Blessings be upon you because Everton are staying in the Premier League. What a stressful, stressful uh, day, morning uh, for me. Uh, but before we do that, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Cool Again. Let's go. <laughs> no, come on. Now, you already know who it is. That's Christian Polanco. He's feeling pretty good about himself. My name is Alexis Graos. I watch Arsenal play better than they have in the last goddamn 10 <laughs> weeks for no damn reason. <laughs> uh, but an exciting day, exciting weekend in, in football, in soccer. Uh, uh, it's Memorial Day in, in America. And, and you've been a soldier of relegation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was on the brink. Okay. I fought. <laughs> I fought on the shores yeah. of, re of the relegation zone, okay? The front line, bro. <laughs> oh my God. Christian done seen some shit. <laughs> okay, the PTSD is real, all right? Uh -huh. I'm, a, I'm a, You know, I was already upset about the cuts they're making t for veterans in the debt ceiling <laughs> conversations, bro. bro. Christian at the <laughs> VA hospital, like, I know how you feel, player. <laughs> <laughs> we <did. laughs> we could be Arsenal, but we drew. So he's like, what? <laughs> Bro, uh, so it, it was, uh, I mean, look, if you're new here, I'm an Everton fan. Been a stressful <laughs> year. <laughs> what a uh, first episode. <laughs> What, what a an weird absolute one. bananas first episode. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the, uh, when uh, when I chose Everton to, to be an Everton fan uh, about about seven years ago, everyone was like, what are you doing? What's this about? Um, uh, well, you very you know? innocently were like, I'm a big fan of Lukaku. Uh, I think this kid's got a future. And they're fun to play with on FIFA. And mm. everyone's like, that's just this week. <laughs> You've made a mistake. <laughs> you mean Leighton Baines is never going to play forever <laughs> yeah <laughs> what are you talking about uh seamus coleman this guy will be young forever bro <laughs> found a youth that man uh <laughs> mikel so, arteta that might have been before that been after that. um but yes uh so we know obviously the teams in the premier league that are relegated uh southampton which was a, which happened a couple weeks ago uh leeds united and leicester city on the final day but uh it got it got close there because Leicester City uh, beat West Ham. Uh, no thanks to those hammers. Uh, mm. Shout out to Jamie, our, our editor. Who's, uh, bro, um, did nothing for anybody. He, they, you know, I don't know what was Trying to on. hurt me with a draw against Arsenal <laughs> and try to hurt you. <laughs> that man is a, has been against us since day one. I've, uh -huh. I've always said that. Um, Super ops, bro. <laughs> so, Does a great job editing, though. <laughs> yes, yes, very good at that. Um, so Leeds, they uh, they were awful again. Uh, gave up three goals. I mean, they were playing against Tottenham, obviously a very very strong opponent, but they were at home, um, and and they just Leeds Leeds looked like uh, Leeds have have looked the entire year. Uh, so given, now's the time when we have to ask the question: Is the Sam Allardyce magic done? He couldn't keep West Brom up, can't keep Leeds up. Is this it? Well, now I guess the Sam Allardyce magic has been uh, uh, has been transferred to Christian Polanco because you saw that. As <laughs> I soon thought as you I could have said Sean Dyche, <laughs> but no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Because once you saw the fact that I I brought in the will of the of the toffee spirits into mm -hmm. our studio, that is is I mean. No one can really argue that I am not solely the reason why Everton are staying up. No one can argue that, and they shouldn't, okay? Because you can try. You, you can, can try. try your hardest. You're not going to be there's... welcome on this program. I'll no. tell you that much. <laughs> not doing it on our platform. I'll tell you that. <laughs> we will not platform someone like that. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, very, very quickly, we will present you with evidence to the contrary <laughs> as you are removed and your Blangola passport is ripped up. <laughs> so, so um, they uh, so look, uh, Allardyce couldn't fix the the the, the horrid defending. Um, he also only got four matches. Like there's a there's a conversation there. It's like did he did he lose his magic or did he just show up to make half a half a milli? Look, they shouldn't have got rid of Jesse Marsh. I think I think they I think they I, probably would have stayed up with. Uh, I with Jesse agree. I agree. If Jesse, yeah. I mean, it's easy for us to say that because hindsight's twenty twenty. Uh, but Jesse Marsh is still there. Yeah, I don't they, know, man. It's not even that they scored. They scored a fair amount of goals. They had a a, a couple games where they scored a, a bunch, but the defending was awful. I mean, there's that, that's the, the one thing, the one advantage I, I at least thought Everton had. They they defended better than uh, uh, than Leicester and Leeds, um, but they 
they just couldn't score. I mean, Dominic Calvert-Lewin missed like 20-something games. They had no real replacement striker. They, Mopai was useless, essentially, uh, after looking great at Brighton. And I thought he would be like a, one of those sneaky like pickups, like uh, like Trossard. Like, oh, man, he's going to be uh, – you know, he did it at Brighton. Uh, but no, nah, he could not. No, nah, best anywhere. he could do is be a sneaky link. That, <laughs> Damn, a sneaky that's a, pickup. Okay, nah. yeah, his DMs is crazy, but not <laughs> yeah, really. He, he really be practicing in them DMs, bro. Because <laughs> he ain't really doing. Uh, Mopai it. did not score one goal. I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, maybe we could have Mike uh, confirm that. But I don't think he scored one goal for Everton. Um, and that's just it's embarrassing for a, a striker to not score one goal. The uh, uh, Ellis Sims, the uh, the the like he was like the Everton two uh, uh, striker that they brought up, scored one at least. Um, and and Mopai, I don't think scored even even one. So just uh, em, em, embarrassing. We got oh we got one. We got one that we just got confirmation. Mopai scored one goal in twenty seven matches, which is horrendous. So he pulled he pulled David Charlison. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> One goal, sixty million dollars. And look at that, Richarlison saved Everton last year. Wanted to play in Champions League, um, and goes to Tottenham, and now is he uh, got knocked out of Champions League, and now is not even playing in Champions League uh, after a, a bad, not even playing in Europe. Uh, so. Clearly, the wrong move. My, my man should have stayed, but um, uh, it is what it is. Let's see, you know, after Everton, um, uh, uh, you know, the fans stayed there, obviously, and they're uh, celebrating as much as they can. But the, as soon as the final whistle hit, the, the Gladys Street end started uh, chanting, sack the board. So they, they, that's it. They're, they're yeah. like, back to protest. We they're like, this. Eh, thank you for everything you've done. <laughs> uh, we want you all fired. They're, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're essentially like, yo, do what Bayern did. <laughs> After they, you know, Oliver Kahn and then uh, the other guy, I forgot his name, but the, the either general manager or president or whatever, uh, they got they got sacked as they're celebrating the Bundesliga title. And and I think Everton fans want that kind of like cut throatedness to just be to be ruthless uh, uh, and, and get rid of, uh, you know, of, of, you know, people that are not helping the club uh, uh, succeed. So. Uh, okay, yeah, we got the we got the pr- pronunciation. Hassan Sa- Sali Sali Hamidzic. Sali Hamidzic. Sali Hamidzic. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. All right. <laughs> I, I I think everyone listening knows <laughs> that's the best we can do. Right? So, we try. Okay, feel free to give us uh, uh you know some applause as you're listening to the show. Um, yeah, that's how we pronounce it in Langola. Good point. Good point. Uh-huh. Right. So uh, yes, yeah. I mean, there's not too much to make sense out of it. It, it just uh, it's a it's a it was a tense year and it was a tense uh, a day for all three teams involved. I mean, you saw the the Leeds players uh, in tears. Uh, the Leicester players in tears. It hurts, obviously, when teams are relegated. We feel clearly feel terrible for uh, Jack Harrison, Tyler Adams, Weston McKenney, These uh, all, Brendan well, Arrington. McKenney's going back to Juventus, but it feels like Jack Harrison has done enough to get purchased by a club. Yeah, uh, you know, in 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 the Premier League, Tyler Adams already rumors are swirling about him being sold, uh, and I'm sure there's stuff in their contracts uh, where they get to sort of. You know, they pull the parachute when the t- club is going down. But totally. I do want to talk a little bit about Weston McKenney. He got subbed off. And I don't know if you heard this. The Leeds fans were chanting, you fat bastard. I did not now, see or hear that. No. That has to make you feel bad if you're Weston McKenney. But for me, hearing it made me feel really good. <laughs> because, <laughs> because it he... now starts to put most of the comments we and CBS are getting in the, <laughs> in the comment section in context. Because if you think Weston McKenney's fat, well, then no one. You think I'm a big boy? <laughs> so, uh, look, I, I guess the 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 bar for what uh, I guess the English consider fat is a little bit mm-hmm. different than uh, than we do. You know, like when I go to Ireland, what what I think is a drunk person in the U.S. The bar is fairly low. I, I'm like, oh, yeah. you know, uh, security. You stumble a little bit, uh, and to, a bouncer's like, yo, buddy, you can't you can't stay in here. 
in Ireland, if you are stumbling around, they're like, oh, okay, Mickey this just... This kid's having a good time. M- Mickey's <laughs> finally, you know, turned up, okay? Yeah. <laughs> good. This guy's got a chance to relax. <laughs> yeah. well, so at a rough week of work. He, Buddy, he, let me help you to your car. <laughs> <laughs> He's earned this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Man, so... Uh, it's, I'll yeah. never forget being in Ireland. Not a long story, but we go into a pub that's supposed to be one of the oldest pubs in Ireland. And we're sitting there, and there's first of all every you know, every schools. pub in Ireland is the oldest pub in Ireland. They are yeah, yeah. First of all, it's like the number one pizza in New York it has the same sign in every pizza shop. By the way, uh, you know how they have the mini stools you sit on? They don't have like the bar height stools in some yeah. bars. Like the bar is fairly low. I'm we're sitting in that, and I'm like complaining. I'm like, this just feels weird to sit in a seat this low without a back. Why don't we switch to the other side of the bar that has the tall seats? The only other person in this bar was a woman by herself reading. And D was like, let's not bother this woman. I'm like, you know what? Good point. When she's done, we'll get up and go over there where it's the tall seats. So she heard us and she goes, hey, I'm actually leaving. I've just finished my pint. You can you can come sit over here. Thank you so much for being considerate. No problem. She gets up. We're glad. Hey, all right. All right. Have a good day. Walks from around the bar, fully pregnant. <laughs> no one said anything. <laughs> we sit down. I'm talking like. Eight, nine months. Yeah, yeah. Not partially pregnant. No. Either that or she stole a throw pillow. (laughs) You know what I mean? First trimester, (laughs) your doctor would be like, all right, you made a mistake. It's all good. Yeah, Yeah, listen. What are you going to do, right? You you know, you got half a glass of wine. Not the end of the world. (laughs) Hey, it's all good. You had an IPA. Look, man, there's nutrients in that. You know? (laughs)